So over $5,000 in human hair wigs have been stolen, taken, borrowed. I done told y'all about the businesses and y'all is not listening to me. I'm going to go put it up on the screen. Let's go on and listen to this right here. And now to a crime on camera. A South Florida business robbed numerous times. Thousands of dollars worth of merchandise stolen from this family business. The repeated robberies happening at a wig shop in Tamarack. And it's apparently gotten so bad the owner is thinking about closing her doors to protect her family. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live with this crime caught on camera. Andrew. You know, your heart really goes out to this family. It's hard enough running a small business nowadays without dealing with crime. One incident after another. Now this family is wondering at this point if the risk is worth the reward. This crook wanders in and chats up two teenaged workers looking for wigs, asking questions. This yes. right here? This blonde one? Yeah. Oh yeah, all yes. this stuff. Just, this this goes on for a while before our perp takes two boxes. At least over $5,000 in human hair wig inventory. It's extremely frustrating as a small business. When we opened this business, we thought we were doing something great for the community. <laughs> The owner of the beauty plug in Tamarack says Sunday's heist was a breaking point. This crook snatched those boxes from behind the counter with her daughter standing watch, and it's not the first time this has happened. The response, uh, I guess, that I'm getting from the community is not what we expected, and it's just extremely hard to keep going. I can't keep putting my daughters through this type of trauma. My family, my children, they come first. A few months back, another pricey wig heist, and a few months before that, her daughter was pepper sprayed during a robbery. It's Ian Jones. Yeah, okay. Three arrests soon followed that one. The women had a baby along for the heist. It's gotten to the point Thompson Berry needs more security beyond a big stick and some pepper spray she keeps behind the counter for her family. Her family sacrificing so much to make this lifelong dream happen that's now become a nightmare. Not only are we here to service the community with this store, but we we donate, we volunteer time, we sponsor events, we we are active in the community. And it, it's just disheartening and disappointing that we continue to go through this. You know, they've only been open since last April also. Meanwhile, the pepper spray case that's actually still pending in the courts, if you have any... Y'all do remember the pepper spray case, huh? Any information about this latest case, you're encouraged to call BSO right away. When I tell y'all about these goddamn naturals, listen, li, 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 li. it used to only be the babies. It used to only be the babies, females, um, um, hell, how should I say it? Don't want to offend. Um, the people who came out their mama monkey with a monkey. It used to only be them. And now we got, um, a him, they, they, um, a him, she, they, none by in there. Mm -mm. Mm. Everybody, people need these damn wigs, boy. This stuff is big business. Listen, if anybody got a plug to where I can start like a new hustle or something like that, so I can start selling me some damn wigs out here in these streets. But li li listen, li 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 li. write in the comment, let me know. I, I need to connect. I need to connect right here in these streets. But when you trying, and like people often say, especially darky you folk, when they set up businesses in the community, this is for the community. I've been helping the community. I'm active in the community. And then you see people in the community don't give a damn about why you done sought up a business and or what you is doing in the community. They don't care about the damn community. But remember, remember, respect the hustle. Respect the hustler. We ain't telling. We know who the people be on camera, but we ain't telling. Robbed numerous times, thousands of dollars worth of merchandise look at, look at, look at, look at. stolen from this family business. The repeated stop. <laughs> robberies ah! happening at a wig shop in Tamarack. And it's apparently gotten so bad. This is just so sad, sad, sad. It will continue to be sad. Um, businesses will will continue to go through these type of things right here. As, as, as far as theft go, the streets got to eat. Don't ever forget the streets got to eat. Now. Behind the counter, they have mace and a stick. Let me explain something to you. You got the wrong stick, baby. Bad, the owner is thinking about closing yeah. her doors to yeah. protect her family. Look. When you have businesses thinking about shutting down, closing the stores, and it goes back to people who is invested in the community, like they own some stuff. When you own some stuff, you are invested in the community because you pay what is called 
property taxes for, for those of you who may not know. So the people who was property taxes, who was not telling, snitching, um, alerting authorities about the people who they see on camera and or done heard, done done some, and we looking for them. When they don't speak out, aren't they called cowards? Should not the taxpayers, the property taxpayers, should we not call them cowards for not trying to 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 keep the community prosperous? Get the bad apples out. We so afraid in the community, so we are actually cowards. Well, since Andrew Perez is live with his crime caught on camera, Andrew. This is just look, 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 teenage look, 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 look. dealing with crime. One incident after another. Now this family is wondering at this point if the risk is worth the reward. This crook wanders in and chats up two teenage workers, looking for wigs, asking questions. This here right here, this blonde one. Oh yeah, all yes. this you turn around. This goes on for a while before our perp. You make a bad looking woman, boy. Takes two boxes. At least over five thousand dollars in human hair wig and five thousand dollars, and like I have been said, I have been said, like I have been saying. If you as a business and you take a loss and, and you got to like put like a number, yeah, I may have lost 5000 but because I got insurance and all that shit there, um, I am in the hole for like $15,000. I've been listening, it took 15000 from a player. You know what I'm saying? This is how I would be saying or selling or telling my truth about my business is lost. Sorry. It's extremely frustrating as a small business. When we opened this business, we thought we were doing something great for the community. And I believe a lot of people try to do something great for the community while creating business for the community. People who create businesses, they create a business because there may be um, something in the community that is lacking and it actually benefits the community. But, but, Dog you people go through this right here and it just be so sad because it be dog you people destroying dog you people businesses. So, hey, hey, hey um, y'all gonna have to get some guns. Either get some guns or close your doors, which is sad because this is how you take care of your family. You may have to go to another community um, and set up if you can or... I hope y'all have like an online store or something like that right there. Promote yourself on online. Get out of the brick and mortar. I don't know. I don't know. But we need guns and we need to um, be trained on how to shoot people when they stealing from us. I appreciate y'all for rocking. Man, y'all let me know what you think. I'm out.